guys welcome to my new video in this video we learn about multi layer perceptron so in the previous video we had learned about uh, perceptron that was single layer this is multi layer perceptron so what happens in multi layer perceptron in that we had only two layers and in this we have three layers three or more layers the doesn't matter so in this we have uh, so we'll see what is multi level a multi layer perceptron is a perceptron with multiple layers cas input layer output layer till now we know that uh, we have input layer and output layer now in this multi layer perceptron we have one more layer which is that layer hidden layer hidden layer can be uh, this should be one and this should be one but cardinality of this can be any so let's say this is n cardinality of uh, hidden layer is n each neuron compute and activation function so what this says is each neuron has its own activation function and we have seen in the single uh, perceptron that we had activation function only after uh, a neuron sends a signal to the another neuron so in this each uh, each neuron has its activation function now we'll see what are uh, the different types of less you already mentioned it but we'll see in detail first we'll see input layer input layer first what it does is introduces input values into the network second what it does is no activation function for other processing so what input layer does is it just gives an input there is no uh, function running over it or anything other than the input which we give or the computer gives so next we have the new layer which we have seen hidden layer in hidden layer we have uh, perform classification of features second to hidden layer are sufficient to solve any problem next feature of this is features imply more less may be better so we'll see what happens in this is it performs classification of features there will be many features that will be given by the input layer what it does is it classifies what is relevant for getting the output so let's say we have 10 features and that we need only 5 features for getting a particular output then we'll select those 
uh, five features and then we'll uh, after getting those five features we uh, what we do is perform arithmetic logical operations over it with the uh, multiplying with the weight as we have seen in single layer perceptron so uh, the features imply uh, more or less will be better what it means is if more or more or less come it will be a better solution that means it will give a better output now the last one is output layer so in this we have functionally just like hidden layer that means hidden layer and uh, output layer doesn't differ much so output are passed on to the world so uh, in this we saw that there's no much difference between the hidden layer and the output layer so what it does is just like the hidden layer only thing is that we can't see it why is the word hidden hidden means it is hidden from the outside world so but output layer doesn't hide the output from the outside world that is the only difference in this so this was about multi-layer perceptron please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you